What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, I put on a little cooking class and we go visit Lori's mom and sister over in Juarez. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Oh, sorry. All right, we arrived in El Paso yesterday, and because Freya wouldn't run without the OBD2 reader plugged in, we knew that we had a bad ground somewhere, and that could have meant searching for days and days for a ground because there's so many different places that could be. But I just happened to be the luckiest son of <laughs> in the world today. And the first place I looked, I found the ground. So check this out. I knew where the wires coming up into the coach were on this side of the coach. We're on the, as you can see on the driver's side of the coach, I could see that. So I just started at looking at these are normally your grounds when they come out of certain places like that. You can see this loom here. There's a ground coming out and goes back up into there. I was actually going to maybe use that as a ground if I had to. So this is a big wiring harness ground coming out. Well, I happened to just touch this and it came right out in my hands. So I just cleaned another spot and it was way back up in here. So I just cleaned this spot here uh, with a screw screwdriver and then put a self-tapping screw on there. So all in all, this took me maybe hour, hour and a half total, including going to drive and get the the new parts, the connectors, and about $7.50, I think, for the parts. So that's a huge crooked thumbs up, folks. Now I can get other stuff done. I can start editing videos. I can do other things. I'm so happy right now. Awesome. Lorraine is not here right now, so I decided I'd make myself some simple guacamole. That requires a really sharp knife, so hopefully I don't need to call 911 on myself. It's going to be pretty simple guacamole, though, because uh, I don't have all the ingredients I need, but I'll have a few anyways. We're going to start off with some, uh, obviously, you got to have the uh, avocados, right? Why isn't that coming apart? Oh, it comes apart so easy, right? No, that wasn't, maybe I didn't get it all the way cut. I don't think I got it all the way cut. Mm, that came out pretty easy. That was nice. Uh, scoop out the old uh, avocado there. At least I can't cut myself with a spoon. Well, at least I've never done it in the past. Who knows? I guess it's very possible. Not too bad. Stuff is coming out pretty easy. Perfect. I'm gonna have to. Oh man, there's not much onion left there. You have to get a little bit out of there, anyway. It's not not a whole lot, but I'm not even gonna worry about that. Let me get that little piece out of there. I don't know how to cut it if it's that thin. That should be good. Oh, onion flying everywhere. Ah, that'll be fine. Cool, man. Just mash that bad boy up now and get all the onion and stuff mixed in with it. Try to get it as smooth as I can. Get a little bit of Himalaya salt in there. A little bit. Toss in a little garlic powder since I don't have any fresh garlic. I'm sure there's fresh garlic around here somewhere, but I'm not looking for it since it's easy right there. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I don't have any peppers in there. I don't have any cilantro in there, but for like a quick, quick guacamole, pretty nice. Should be delicious. Maybe I should do a new cooking show, Cooking with Paul, of course. Now I'm thinking there's onion on the floor because my feet are feeling funky. Mmm. 
That is delicious. It's gonna be a lot of guac for one person to eat. I guess this is dinner. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. Today, I am heading down to the border and crossing over to hang out with Lorena and her mom for at least a day. Set this up here. And Lorraine has been over there for a few days now while I've been getting some honeydews done. And so today I'm just gonna pop over for the day. We're gonna do some food stuff and then uh, come back tonight and we head west, westerly, more westerly, tomorrow. We're gonna park on this side, walk across. It's easier because the lines are super long right now coming back over. So I don't wanna sit in traffic for three hours coming back. Just waiting for my Uber. We park close to the border so that we can get dropped off there and then walk across. There's no parking right there, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm now walking across the bridge and almost halfway, just a little ways to go. You can see the freeway there. That's still on the El Paso side. This is the Mito, mighty Rio Grande. Not so mighty at this point. And here's the boundary, right here. Mexico, United States. Mexico, United States, Mexico. It took maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to walk across. Now I have to find Lorena and her mom and uh, get picked up. I think they may be over on this next street because the very first street is the one way and you can't really get to it. Hopefully they didn't forget about me. They didn't forget about me. Woohoo! Familia. Hola. 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 Hello. Hola. 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 <laughs> Made it across about a 10, maybe 15 minute walk and you put your bags on a scanner and that was it. They did? Yeah. They put my bags on the scanner. Well, because you, you had me bringing over, Lori had me bringing over like a full backpack full of stuff and a bunch of pillows. And I look like a Bedouin on a mission. Pretty easy process and uh, yeah, about 15 minutes. And then the drive, I should have showed you the traffic because the traffic on the other side is insane. So driving back is a no-no, that's why we walk. By the way, the interrogation by Mexican Customs was brutal. She said, Buenos dias. <laughs> terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Look what they had waiting for me. They had a nice, look at this, I have a brand new Mexican mask. Look at you that. You know what's more awesome. most amazing? It what? fits. Yeah, it fits well. They must have gotten extra huge for my face. <laughs> Lori says my haircut says I look like Dennis the Menace. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't with, with a know. little curl in the back. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I, my hair was getting too long and I didn't want to spike it, so I thought I'd go with the geek look. <laughs> wow, you've got a new mask too. I do. Wow, check this that was, thing this out. This was my mom's gift. The whole like mask being a fashion thing is just so weird. It's just crazy. Well, the nice thing is that now I have so many, I can just wash them and be. Yes. So Lorena has been over now for three days. three days and I'm coming over for today. We're going to head back over tonight, but we're going to do some breakfast. We're going to hang out with the family and do some stuff over here in Juarez. Excited. Okay, this restaurant that we just came into, spectacular, and I'll show a few more shots, but I will say when you first come in, you step on a mat that has a disinfectant on it. Then when you walk in, they immediately give you hand sanitizer to sanitize your hands, and they take your temperature at the door, and of course, you have to wear a mask to come in. Once you come in, then they have this cool little thing here where you can uh, hang your purse on it if you have a purse, and then you can put 
your phones on it, get those off the table, and masks and things like that. All that stuff can get off the table, so really cool. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Lorena, happy birthday to you. <laughs> As you guys know, I always like to show the restrooms in a place because the restroom really is an indication, or usually a, a pretty decent indication of what the rest of the restaurant is like as far as cleanliness and stuff, and this place is no different. The men's room was really, really cool. I couldn't stand in there and talk because there was a guy coming in and that would have been weird, but check this out. It is absolutely spotless and I think the restaurant is actually kind of brand new, so I'll find that out, but this place is really, really cool. Lorena's little sister, Nina, here. We're going over to see her business now. She's going to be a future business mogul. She's going to be giant, ginormous. They're going to demonstrate how they cut some of the wood and stuff with this laser cutter, so this will be kind of cool. Funcionan con agua. Tenemos hay diferentes láseres. Unas son con enfriamiento de aire y todo. Esto es con agua. It's going to cut it with that open. Sí. It's okay. One hour later. Two hours later. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? I know. Like, so precise, everything. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well, you should have her do some TME stuff. She said she was going to do something for us as a gift, but then she didn't want to mess with our style. Oh, okay. What style is that? I have no idea. <laughs> I think it was just a cop out. <laughs> This here is the shop dog. <laughs> All right, we checked out Nina's shop. Now we're heading over to a local mall where Lori's mom has a little store. It's actually not her store. She works for the her best friend, and it's her best friend's store. So, going over to the mall, check it out. Lori couldn't handle me looking like I just walked out of a Microsoft Visual Plus seminar, so I had to go in and get my hair cut. It's even better, huh? It like, what is it? I look like minute? some like 
Yeah, well, you said I look like a computer geek. You just didn't want to offend the computer geeks. No, I didn't. Fit. No. Don't put words yeah. in my mouth that didn't yes, fit. Yes, you said Dennis the Menace, but you said more like a computer geek. But now, looking sharp again. Yeah, okay. Got my, got my hair back. Got my spike back. <laughs> so, what are we doing now? Um, before going and grabbing my stuff, to the house we're gonna go and have one, a drink a refreshment a refreshment okay cool yes. let's do it bye all right we just got dropped off here at the border and now we've got about a 15 to 20 minute walk. I have short legs. So because minutes. Lori has short legs. So a little bit of a walk ahead of us, but not too bad. It's better than waiting in this line of traffic. As you can see, it's backed up for as long, far as the eye can see. So that's why we park on the other side. Uh, that's a lot of traffic. I know. Definitely cruising border is not the most glamorous thing to do. No. We're back on the U.S. side of the bridge, yes. but we are not through customs yet. Oh, we didn't take our picture by half size. The U.S. half size. I did Mexico. that. I did that earlier. Oh, you did. Yeah, I jumped back and forth between Mexico without and the U.S. Me. without you. Sorry. I have my own picture. Oh, okay. All right, we are across onto the American side. The construction. Please. Construction is going like crazy there. But uh, all in all, it took about 10 to 11 minutes to go through customs in about a 15 minute walk. So now we're gonna call for our Uber. We need to stop here to come and uh, yeah, and then we'll head back to the car. That's it, that's, that's all bad. we got. What questions did they make to you? Uh, what questions? Uh, what did I have to declare? And I said nothing. He said, okay, handed me my passport and that was it. Same here. Yeah. That was, that's, yeah, as far as that, you That was it, so pretty cool. Pretty easy process. I will admit that it's not your guacamole, but it was. I, I just made some quick guacamole, guacamole while you were Guacamole is away. easy to do. It's not that much of a. I don't know. You don't need like a big recipe for it. They're simple ingredients. So you're knocking my skills as a guacamole chef? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> That my guacamole is probably the same as your guacamole. No, it's not. It wasn't. I, it was just so, so simple. She hasn't seen it yet because she didn't watch the video. But yeah, it's super simple. I didn't have all the ingredients, so I just whipped something up quick and showed it. You always call it boquillas guacamole when it's simple. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it was good seeing your mom and sister again. Always. Always nice to see family hang out. It happened to be that it was not in the winter like we always go. So it's nice to just do something different and see the city in a different way. But man, it was hot. Whew. And it's going to continue being hot in the next several videos. But this is where we're going to end this one. So if this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means they have to. Subscribe hit that subscribe button. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again in the next episode. I don't know what else to say. Nothing to say. Look at this beautiful view out here. <laughs>